So as we continue to go deeper into Japji Sahib, we're getting more and more instructions from Guru Nanak about how to live life. And he's made it clear that there is a hukam, there is a cosmic play that we can't control. And yet at the same time, we do have personal responsibility for how we cultivate our consciousness or what we do. And in the 21st Puri, he really defines the most powerful act any human being can do to begin to shift their consciousness and create new habits that write a new life for themselves here and let's say hereafter. Okay, so again, we come back to these key concepts, Sunya Manya, Manikita Bao, Antargat Tirat Malanao. So 20% um, of Japji, the 8th through the 15th Puri, is dedicated to these ideas of Sunya and Manne as a way of knowing. And Sunya, again, means to deeply listen. And Manya is to trust accept, obey what you hear. So you're cultivating a consciousness of neutral listening, of hearing, of receiving directly from the divine insight, and you're learning to trust that capacity and that relationship. And in this experience, man kita bao, the man is the psyche or the mind, and it becomes love. The mind becomes love. The vibration of love fills the mind when we're practicing this art of sunya and mania. Then the next line, which is so important because because Guru Nanak, again, was trying to get people out of ritualistic thinking, that I have to leave my home, travel for months, go someplace else, dip in a river, and then I'm going to be cleansed. And he said, no, that's not true. This phrase, antargat tirith, okay? Tirith is the bathing place. Antargat is within yourself. So within each human being, you have a place that you can access when you sunya and manne, when you, when you listen, you trust, you meditate, you can go within and there's a place within yourself that you can purify your own mind. And mal now is this notion of like the, the dirt becoming the identity that you can, you can wash off, you can wash off your own inner filth, right? Because we all have, like, we all have stuff hanging out in our subconscious. It's the memory of every harm that was done to us. It's the memory of every time we hurt someone. And it's blocking us from feeling the love and seeing ourselves as a manifestation of divine light. And Guru Nanak is saying, it's a simple technique. I've given you the technique. Sonia mane, mania, Manikita bao, do the sunya and manneya and let your mind be filled with love. Then you're going to find a place deep inside of yourself where you can wash off that filth and come into your authentic divine light.